Today is day 12 of the UAW strike on General Motors, and after a couple of busy days for negotiators, there are some good signs. Talks went late into the night last night, and the longer talks go, the better, as later talks usually signal the sides are getting closer to a deal. But if a deal isn't reached this weekend, UAW workers will start getting strike pay of $250 a week. We'll be following this through the weekend, and we'll bring you constant updates on air, and on ClickOnDetroit.com as we get them. Now to a Local 4 update into a deadly gas station shooting involving a customer and the clerk. A jury has convicted 27-year-old Rami Jaber on second-degree murder and weapons charges for the deadly shooting at a gas station back in 2018. Jaber and a 34-year-old man got into an argument inside a sit-go on West McNichols. During that argument, Jaber came from behind the protective area of the counter and opened fire, killing the man. A Detroit man faces felony charges after police find his ID left behind at a crime scene. Michael J. Allen is facing larceny charges after allegedly stealing a man's wallet in Royal Oak. We're told Allen asked a man for gas money and grabbed his wallet. The victim then ran after Allen but couldn't catch him. Police say while running away, Allen dropped his ID, which they picked up. Allen is scheduled to be in court Monday. A popular Caribbean soul restaurant in Detroit's Grand Mont Rosedale neighborhood is closing its doors. Yeah, the owner of the River Bistro restaurant announcing the closure today, citing ongoing construction along Grand River Avenue on the city's west side. In a statement, the owner says the closure will allow him to focus on his other restaurant located in the Cass Corridor. All right, time now for a check of the national stories you'll see ahead at 630 on NBC.